what we've just discovered is that uh, species, mainly of animal, but animals, but of animals and plants in general, have been moving their distributions away from the equator and towards the poles much faster than previously realized. In fact, species are moving northwards in the northern hemisphere and southwards in the southern hemisphere at a rate at, on average, between about 16 and 17 kilometers per decade which comes out at roughly 20 centimetres or so per hour, which is just a phenomenal rate of movement of the whole of biological life away from the equator towards the poles. How do we know that it's uh, likely to be associated with climate change? Well, partly because there's no other reasonable explanation for why everything should be moving to higher elevations and to higher latitudes, but also because we find that the rate of movement is greater in the regions that have experienced most warming. So although the average, though, is shifting towards the poles at such a fast rate, what we find is for the individual species that they're very variable because some of them may be responding to changes in the land use or other species as well as to the climate. So some species have shot ahead faster than the rate of climate change and others are going more slowly. But on average, they're shifting um, at about the same rate that we would expect given the amount of warming. Now this paper was, uh, the first author is I Ching Chen, um, who was my a uh, former PhD student and now a researcher in Taiwan. And to give you an example, what she did was to uh, study moths on Mount Kinabalu and she went back and resurveyed them 42 years after the first survey and found that the individual species were at higher elevations than they were historically. And it's this sort of data from all across the world that we've put together and done one big analysis of the data that are in the literature and that's how we can draw this conclusion, although it has to be said that most of the information that we can draw on comes from Europe and from North America and it would be very nice if we had more additional information from other parts of the world. So, in summary, species are moving very rapidly to higher elevation and to uh, higher latitudes, and moving to higher latitudes at about three times the rate that was previously realized, and that we can link this to the level of climate warming in different regions. So, whilst climate change is a bit off the political agenda at the moment, moment meanwhile, it's still going on and species are still responding and there's a risk that many species might become extinct as a result of all of these changes.